Hi everybody. Today I wanted us to do something sort of fun and just calming. You know, this is a stressful time. A lot of us don't get to see as many friends as we would like to see. So I thought it would be really great to make a comfort animal. I am so fortunate right now to have a cat and you know, my cat isn't even that nice, but at least I have someone to snuggle with. So what we're gonna do today is use Sculpey or polymer clay to create a comfort animal. Right now, I think the most comforting animal for me would be one that I could talk to. So I think like a really cute parrot type bird would be really great. So I'm gonna start by choosing a main color for my animal. I want light green. So I'm gonna take some white polymer clay and some green polymer clay and mix them together to get light green. So now I've mixed these two and I have my nice light green. So now I'm going to start sculpting the main body of my parrot out of my main color. But endowing. So I'm making a pretty small bird so I can just use raw clay. But if I wanted to make a bigger one, uh, it would make sense to put some tin foil on the inside to make it hollow because you don't want to cook clay that is super duper thick. You want it to be maximum half an inch thick. But so tin foil is always an option, but in this case, my project is thin enough, it doesn't need anything inside. So what I'm going to do now is I've mixed this warm yellow by combining some pale yellow with some orange. I'm going to start making the details of my bird like the tail, the beak, and the wings. All right, now i got my nice yellow here, and I'm going to make a little beak, and I'm going to attach it to the head of my bird. Now it's important to remember when you join two things together, if you don't push really hard, they're just gonna come right apart the moment that you cook your clay in the oven. So what you can do is take a little tool like this and you can use it to apply a lot of pressure but in a very local way just to the place where two pieces are being joined. So this way I'm applying a lot of pressure but I'm not mushing up my beak. My beak still looks pretty darn good. And now it's really well attached, it's not gonna come off. So now I've added a nice blue tail to my parrot and I've established like the three main colors that are gonna be part of my parrot. From here on in, everything I'm adding is basically a small detail. So I'm gonna use really small thin pieces of clay to create those details. So here I have some white and I can make a little ball, tiny ball, and then I can press it on super hard and you can see I'll have an eye. Now the eye is going to get bigger when I press it on, but it looks pretty cool. If I want to make a pupil for my eye, I can roll an even tinier piece of black clay, tinier ball, and then I can take that and press it on as well. So now I have a nice little eye for my parrot, and I've squished it on really hard so I know it's going to stay. So next I want to make a detail that is a wing. So what I could do, I decided my wing is going to be mostly blue is use a roller to roll out a really flat sheet of blue and then I can take the sharp side of my clay tool and cut out the wing shape that I want to have. So by doing that I can sort of just draw the shape that I want. So I've created this nice wing shape and it's flat enough that I could just press it onto the side of my bird and after I press it on a little harder, I'll have a nice wing. So now my bird has wings and a tail, and I'm just going to add some stripes to it. And the way to create stripe details is just by rolling a snake of the color that you want, um, cutting it to the length that you want it to be, and then applying that where you want to add your stripe. So I want to put a stripe on these wings because they're a little boring right now. So I'm going to press it down and sort of pull it out to a nice long length. So now I can add some stripes. Alright, so I've added some stripes to the wings of my bird and a big stripe to the tail, a lot of detail. What it's really missing are some feet and a way to stand up. So this is a place where an armature could be really helpful. An armature really just means a skeleton, something hard that you put inside of a clay sculpture to hold it together. 
It could be a little wooden barbecue skewer. It could be a pencil. It could be a piece of wire. Um, it's up to you. And they can be very complex or they can be simple. So I'm going to grab some wooden barbecue skewers of the kind you might find in your kitchen. What's nice about them is that they are thin enough, they're cheap, and they're thin enough that you can just sort of nibble them with the scissors and then break them neatly where you want them to break. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to imagine where my legs would be, and I'm going to stick this little wooden uh, dowel or skewer into the bottom of my bird. So now I'm going to put the clay around my dowel to make some feet that will help my bird stand up and that wooden uh, barbecue skewer dowel inside is going to help it to be stronger. So I made a little base to help my sculpture stand up. A lot of sculptures in the history of sculpture have a base to help them stand or to make them stronger. You don't need one for a lot of animals because they'll be simple and they'll just rest on the ground on their own. But for my bird, I think a stand will be really nice. All right, so I've added some claws for my bird. So it now sits nicely on a base and it will stand up really well. It has a little wooden dowel inside for an armature and it's not too thick, so it should cook really nicely in the oven. So if you want to, you can watch my other video about how to cook Sculpey in the oven. It's in the Bonus Makerspace channel and it's also in the Mighty Maker Stars playlist. And it'll show you how to cook a polymer clay or Sculpey project like this in a normal oven at your house so it becomes a really strong permanent sculpture. So this is my comfort animal and I already feel a little bit better emotionally just knowing that I have a cute little pet to talk to. Caw -caw!